Data shows that up to 25% of people suffer from urticaria once in their life. Urticaria, wow, sounds scary. But it's not as scary as it sounds. Urticaria is just the medical term for hives. Hives are bumps on the skin, and the one thing that's to know whether it's hives or another kind of skin issue is that they move around. They don't stay in the same place and they're itchy. Those are the two key ingredients for hives. They move around and they're itchy. People come to me all the time wondering what the causes of hives are. Most of the time when hives last for just a short while, meaning a week or two, it's due to a virus. It doesn't mean that people actually have a runny nose or a cough, but it's due to a viral illness in your body and this is how the virus actually is being expressed in the patient. Why does it show up as hives when you have a virus? There are many rashes that come about from a virus you wouldn't even think twice about. If you had the chickenpox rash, oh, then it's obviously a rash from chickenpox or a measles rash, you would have a rash from measles. People say, oh, that's a very typical kind of rash you get from a certain virus. Because it's very nonspecific having hives, people don't always link those two things up. When hives go on for more than a month or so, we look for other unusual causes of hives. But when hives go on for an extended period of time, the most common cause is what we call idiopathic. And I always tell patients that means you have pathology and we're idiots, we can't figure it out. But the fact of the matter is we do some tests, blood tests usually, to find out what the problem is. And most of the time, the tests are normal. A hive, by definition, never stays in the same spot for more than 24 hours, but can then reappear in another spot. A common reason for hives is an allergic reaction. In those cases, you'll know the cause because hives will appear immediately after contact, such as ingesting a common trigger food like nuts or shellfish. If hives appear hours after you've eaten, then they may be the result of something like exercise, stress, sun exposure, or an insect sting you didn't notice. In those cases, it can be difficult to determine the cause. But don't be afraid to go out in the sun or exercise. Most hives are harmless and simple over-the-counter medications will treat the symptoms. People always worry that the hives can progress to something more like affecting their airways or affecting their breathing, but truth be told, usually that doesn't happen. If that was going to happen, it would happen at the onset, not days into the event. People can get very anxious, so they feel their throat is closing, but that's usually not the case. The key is really good medical treatment, and good medical treatment consists of the use of antihistamines. And there are many antihistamines on the market. Everybody thinks of using Benadryl because it's easily accessible over the counter and it's been around for many, many years. The problem with using Benadryl is it makes patients tired and they have to use it many times a day. So a lot of the non-sedating antihistamines, some of them are available over the counter like Claritin and Zyrtec and there are other ones that are prescription like Allegra and Zizol and Clarinex. They're terrific even in combinations using more than one pill a day to try and control the symptoms so people can function and not be bothered by their symptoms. If patients have other worrisome symptoms in conjunction with hives, like difficulty breathing, weakness, or stomach pain, then all of that together could be a sign of a serious allergic reaction and they should seek medical attention immediately. If patients have hives after a few days or recurring hive outbreaks, you should call your doctor in the first day or two to discuss it and possibly go in for an appointment. The reason why it's important seeing an allergist is to take a detailed history, even though we don't often find things, it's worthwhile doing a very detailed history to make sure there's no stone left unturned because sometimes a detailed history might pick up something subtle like a medication the patient forgot. They're taking Motrin as a pain reliever for athletic events and they may only find they only have a problem the days that they actually take the pain reliever and they may not link those problems. So taking a detailed history is very important even though a lot of times we don't come up with a solid answer. If you know something like strawberries or stress gives you hives, then you can prevent an outbreak just by avoiding your triggers. Don't eat strawberries and minimize your stress. If you don't know what triggers your hives, then the best thing to do is live a healthy life and always wash your hands. That's a good way to make sure hive-causing viruses aren't lurking on your skin waiting for another opportunity to strike. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen, and you're watching the eHealth Network. See you next time.